One sec. One sec. There we go. All right. We're streaming live on both Twitch and YouTube. Welcome, one and everyone, to episode 405 of Scotch and Smoke Rings. I am your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn here, as always, with my suspenders set to maximum stun. Got a great show for you today. We're going to be playing some Fallout 4 in a little bit. Uh, we're going to be raiding Pikmin's Gallery. About time, right? I've been running around with Grognax X on my sneaky, stealthy assassin character. And it's kind of ridiculous, right? Um, axes don't make good stealth weapons. I mean, in the game, I get away with it. It's a medium-weighted weapon. I get some heavy hits in there. But the idea behind this character is I really want her to be a, you know, a stabby-stab kind of character. So I need a much faster weapon. <clears throat> so we're going to go to Pikmin's Gallery. We're going to get Pikmin's Blade. People have been asking me to do that for quite some time. And so I will. I'm streaming on both um, Twitch and YouTube right now. And I realized that my Twitch stream, many people have been uh, registering uh, some sort of unstab instability. And uh, I'm, st I'm trying to diagnose it right now. So I am uh, I'm running uh, the Twitch's compatibility checker while I'm doing this broadcast. And I'm going to be collecting a whole bunch of data that I will hopefully be able to use to fix my Twitch broadcast, but the YouTube broad, uh, broadcast is doing very well. So, I mean, the, every, most of you are on YouTube anyway, so we won't have to worry too much about that. But I am still dedicated to my Twitch audience. I want to make sure that the picture is good for you. And I am reading all of your Twitch comments in the chat. I've been working on a pure Minimag character for Fallout 4, says Red's Ox Effige 1. Uh, well, good. Uh, the Minutemen, the Minutemen are my favorite faction. I've always really enjoyed siding with them, so I think that's an excellent choice. Greetings from Paper Writing Alley, says Team Chief Pack. I take it that, what, is is it some, that's like the second or third comment I've read about people working on schoolwork. Is it finals or something? I don't know. I've been out of the system for so long. Great video today, Ox. Can't wait for more Far Harbor lore, says my name is Tad. Thank you very much. Had a lot of fun. Did a video on Haddock Cove today. We explored the entire cove, which is really thematic. And I love all of that mist kind of growing out of the water. And the holotapes were, <laughs> were really funny. <laughs> they were ridiculous. Um, but uh, yeah, and then right next to the cove itself is an abandoned red house with four or five. I forget the number. I think it's five cryptic handwritten messages which is really interesting. So uh, I had a lot of fun putting that together for all of you. And I'm glad that you guys were able to enjoy it. Yeah, this Twitch inspector is really weird. It's giving me a bunch of interesting charts and graphs. It showed that I was unstable for about a minute and then for 25 seconds and that now I'm going stable again, which I don't understand because I've got the exact same internet connection. I haven't changed anything. I'm still... Uh, simulcasting to both YouTube and Twitch. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But I'll figure it out. But you know what? We have priorities here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have priorities. And one of the top priorities is, of course, to smoke this thing. To set this on fire. This was a gift from Lungra. Lungra sent me a nice big box of cigars. And uh, this one he talked about in his letter to me. Uh, this is the Natural Drew Estate. Irish hops. See, I don't have his, his letter handy anymore. It came with a little bit of a cracked outer wrapper, which is going to be okay. I mean, so it's going to look, as we burn it, it's going to look a mangled mess, I'm sure. But uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be very tasty. So we're going to take off the cap right there. And look, it's got a nice pigtail wrap on the end there. I've always really enjoyed those. It's not really a pigtail. It's just an unfinished wrap on the foot. The pigtails are nice. Those are actually on this part, but this doesn't have a pigtail. So I was wrong. All right, let's use a V-cut because I don't want to tear off the cap 
which will cause it to unravel. And the V-cut puts a nice little groove in there. I don't know if you can see it. You get some contrast behind there. There. You see the little groove? Yeah. Check the draw. All right. Man. Dropped frames. I don't get it. Getting a lot of dropped frames, but just on Twitch. YouTube is fine. It's the exact same settings. Ah, it's really frustrating. I have been working hard this week, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, my. There's some sort of uh, flavor on this. I just put it to my lips to test the draw, and I'm getting a sweetness. I'm not used to cigars like that. Usually, I have completely unflavored cigars, but this has some sort of sweet... Like a vanilla flavor. Getting some Twitch feedback. Uh, Broadwater says, yeah, the ox uh, Oxhorn, the Twitch stream skips every few seconds or so. By the way, did you hear that? I'm in the middle of a thunderstorm. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Maybe if I put my bit right down. Sorry. This is bothering me. I know that this isn't. Hey, thanks for the tip. We got a tip from Hart. He says, Oxhorn, hey, my boyfriend wants to know, what is your favorite scotch? You're an awesome man, by the way. Well, thank you very much, Hart. My favorite scotch is Glenfiddich. I like Glenfiddich. Uh, I know that some people don't because it's kind of a PT scotch. We're going we're gonna to bring this down a little bit. We're, we're going to... We're getting dropped frames. Let's go to 1800 there, just for Twitch. Okay, we're going to bring that bit rate down. Hopefully that will resolve the dropped frames issue, but no promises. I'm trying things here. Anyway, to answer your question, uh, Glenfiddich is probably one of my favorite scotches, but it's not for everyone. It is a PT scotch. It's like you're putting a campfire in your mouth. And I love that. So I'm not complaining, but um, definitely not for everyone. Yeah, the, 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 you should have seen this earlier. I'm in the middle of trying to do my work, and a thunderstorm rolls right overhead. The lightning was so loud that I didn't have a chance to do any of my audio recording for my video today, for, for tomorrow. So after I finish the broadcast, I'm going to sit down and do all of the audio recording for tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is going to be a blast, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to share it with you. There we go. Upgrade to whiskey? You do realize that scotch is whiskey. It's a whiskey made in Scotland. Upgrade to whiskey, he says. I've been getting that all day. All right, I'm I'm holding out hope. I think my Twitch stream is a little bit more stable. I'm looking at my monitor and I haven't had any drop frames for like 30 seconds. So, cross, oh no, I just got a drop frame. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. Man, I've had quite a day. Oh. And it's been a week, actually. So one of the things I've been trying to do is thanks to all of your views, I have been able to upgrade my system. This is the first time in my life that I've actually had a decent computer. Hand-built, built the entire thing myself. I'm learning a lot. I am, I am on the PC Master Race subreddit all the time, learning lots of stuff. And so I'm constantly learning and every new thing that I learn, I'm able to incorporate it into my rig. And when I learn things, I try and share them with you. Uh, in the description of every video that I publish, I've got a list of all of the computer specs, all, all, all the specs of all of the computer stuff that I put together. Eventually I, I am going to assemble this all into a guide, but that may take some time. 
Who listened to that rain? But I, I have run into the most frustrating issue. So I, I know that this is going to be like Greek to many, but that's okay. One of the things that I've done recently, and this was actually based off of a comment that I got on one of my latest videos, is somebody took a look at my system specs and said, Hey, Oxhorn, you can improve your Fallout 4 in, in, uh, performance even better by installing 32 gigabytes of RAM at a higher frequency at 3200. So I went and I bought these. Trident Z uh, DDR4 RAM uh, cards, which he actually recommended to me, and I installed them, and I wasn't getting a performance boost. Doing some research, I discovered that you actually have to go into your BIOS and change profiles from BASIC to XMP or something like that. So I switched it to an XMP profile, and then whenever I play a video game, whether it's Fallout 4 or Overwatch or any game, my keyboard will randomly turn off and turn on. It's the strangest thing. I'll be walking, and then my character will hit an invisible wall because what happens is the keyboard will very rapidly turn off and turn on, but if I have a key pressed, the game or the keyboard will the, the game will only recognize the key again once I depress it and then press it again, which means that if I'm trying to walk forward, my character suddenly stops, which as you can imagine is infuriating. It's infuriating in Fallout 4, and especially in an FPS. So, uh, this is the strangest, weirdest hardware glitch I've ever dealt with. It's annoying. <laughs> At the G-Skill customer support, not, I'm not meaning to drag them in the mud or anything, but I tried contacting them. They were not very helpful. In fact, they were very rude and condescending. I'm trying to talk with the Aces customer support. Uh, support. They're the guys working on my motherboard. They haven't responded yet. So I put out a message on Reddit. Please, I'm pleading with somebody. Somebody must have an answer to this question. Hopefully, I'll get that. Anyway, I've been dealing with hardware issues all week. But it's slowly coming together. I'm My goal is to improve the visual quality of my gameplay, uh, which will translate into my videos. Currently, I record at 19, 20, 1080 at 60 frames per second. I'm hoping at some time to bump that up so that my videos will be um, higher quality. That's the ultimate goal. But I just gotta, I gotta work out these computer issues first before I get there. Did you replace all of the RAM or add more RAM, says Derek. I re completely replaced it. I had 32 gigabit bit, uh, uh, gigabytes of DDR4 regular RAM. I think it was capped at 1600 frequency. And I took them all out and completely replaced them with the, the, Trident, the Trident pieces. Play Fallout, says Calvin. I will, I will. This is the pre-show warm-up. I've got to go through the rituals. I typically drink scotch on the program, but I don't have any scotch today. So today I'm drinking Hogarden, a nice Belgian beer. Cheers. And I'm gonna do one more tweak to my Twitch settings. It's a, it's a lot better, but I'm still getting a few drop frames every now and then. So I'm gonna, gonna hop on in here and let's bring that down to 1750. Bring that down to 1750. You may get a slight stutter there, and then we'll move on. Anyway, the goal is we're going to be going. We're going to be going into Pikmin's gallery here in a little bit. But I got to warm up, right? I got to say hi to everybody, answer your questions, start smoking my cigar, tweak the show a little bit, and then we can go on into Fallout 4. Luke says that that's weird. Is your keyboard wired? It is. It is a wired. It is a wired keyboard. It's strange from all of the uh, uh, from all of the troubleshooting I tried to do. Many people were saying that I need to go through and change the power settings in Windows to make sure that it doesn't turn off my USB ports while holding a button for an extended period of time on my keyboard, which I did. I went in through the power settings in Windows 10, turned it all off. It's still nothing. So it's a it's a really weird. I've never seen anything like this before. Anyway, I hope I can fix it. We'll see. Vral, <laughs> Vral Jarrip says, I'm 99% sure you promised you'd have scotch this week, Ox. Yeah, I was hoping someone wouldn't remember that. I did promise last week. 
that I that I would have scotch this week. Instead, I have storms. Are storms better than scotch? Scotches are named after storms, some of them. I guess, I'm assuming. No, look, uh, yeah, I know. I ran out of time. I've been busy. I've been producing a lot of content. Hey, Jack donated 10 bucks. Thanks, Jack. He says, love your videos, Oxhorn. Quick question, are you planning on doing videos on Star Wars Battlefront 2? Whenever it comes out, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, the, and the answer is no, not that I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I do love Star Wars, but um, I've never been into the Star Wars games. I don't know why. I just, I ha they haven't really been able to, to capture my imagination. And I guess I would call myself a moderate Star Wars fan. I'm not super into Star Wars. Like, I enjoy Star Wars. I'll, I'll sit down and say, yes, the original three were the best and the prequels were... You know, they're okay. George Lucas, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I get all of that. And I enjoy it. There's nothing better than a good lightsaber fight. Uh, but I guess I wouldn't say that I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a moderate Star Wars fan. Yeah. ZX Super says here's hoping his drink doesn't get watered down too bad. It is raining cats and dogs outside. Thor is having a party. But my beer is safe and sound underneath this roof. So it should not get watered down. New shirt! Did I tell you all that yet? I let you know in my uh, my video today. Oh boy, things... <laughs> the weather is, is, is out and about today. Let's see if I can share my screen with you. If I can find it. Because it's better to show you the new shop than it is to... Nope, and it's not actually up yet. Where did it go? Well, anyway, I've got a, a new shirt. I did a big poll, well, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I asked you all what you would like to see on your next... On, on the next shirt that I produce. And the winner of the poll was... A Liberty Prime shirt that said uh, democracy is the right of every free red-blooded... Uh, no, no. D democracy is non-negotiable. That was that was the shirt. And so I had the guys at, at Teespring put one together and the shirt turned out great. And we launched that today. There it is. Democracy is, non, uh, democracy is non-negotiable. There, I can show you my screen. Hopefully... Nope, and I just have a bunch of, uh, let's, let's see if I can add a window. Nope, but it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that. Wow. Ha! Huh. Hold on a second. Nope. Weird. Yeah, XSplit, the service I use to, to broadcast is finicky. Anyway, I guess I can't show you the shirt, but it's got a picture of Liberty Prime on the front and it says, democracy is non-negotiable. And it says Liberty Prime at the bottom. That was the winner of the poll. I finally got that shirt out. It's up on the the Oxhorn shirt. If you want to check it out here, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the chat. Oh, and I got, uh, I got a tip. Oh, Fisher says Pikmin for the win with a, with a lovely tip. Thank you very much, Fisher. Yep, we're going to be doing we are going to be doing Pikmin here in just a moment. So, hang tight, ladies and gentlemen. Never fear, we will be getting there. Anyway, my goal is to get a new shirt done at least every month, to get a completely new design based on your suggestions done for the community and you can get it in a shirt or a mug or whatever you want. Uh, so, if you're interested, be sure to check out the poll which is in the description of every video that I publish here on YouTube, um, so that you can vote. You can even write in your own answer. If you, there's a shirt you want, write in your own answer. So this cigar is pretty nice. The vanilla sweetness on the cap is really distracting, I have to admit. Uh, I typically don't get cigars like that. I don't like the sweetness. 
Um, but aside from that, thankfully that wears off quickly. Aside from that, the actual flavor of the leaves themselves is uh, really nice. What level of character are going to are you going to be using for your Pikmin stream? Uh, well, uh, the answer is uh, my railroad character, <clears throat> whom uh, whom I'm leveling up right now. My, I'm going to be taking my railroad character. She is level twenty or so, and uh, we'll be taking her out for a spin. You rock, you make my afternoon, says William. Thanks, I'm a steel worker and I don't have much time. Uh, well, I'm not a steel worker, but I do understand the not having much time aspect of things. So, But I, it, I, it's a pleasure to have you on the program. Glad, glad you enjoy the videos. Always happy to add a little bit of joy to somebody's life. All right, let's log on in here. I can't believe I forgot to do this before the show started. Let's log on in there. There we go. All right. My moderation bot is, is in the chat. And the world is a safer place. <laughs> hey, Oxhorn, what is your favorite build? Well, you know what? It's, it's really tricky to answer that because I enjoy all of my characters in their own unique ways. Oxron, will you do a video on the Hobologists? Asks, asks uh, Julian. And yes, I will be doing a video on the Hobologists. That's actually high on my list to do. Uh, so never fear, I will get to that. The blonde guy says your smoke ship should be the Planet Express with Bender yelling, bite my shiny metal double, or A double S. Uh, what was... Uh, man, I, I get, keep get, getting distracted. Hobologists. And then I was answering a question about something else when the Hobologists distracted me. Sorry. <laughs> and it all flies off the screen. Uh, screen. Munch says every stream I've been. Oh, which is my favorite character? Yeah. Uh, so they're all they're all interesting in their own way. Um, I've been having. Honestly, the one that I play the most, probably, is my Institute character. Strangely enough, even though I think the Institute is evil, uh, the character I built there is a whole lot of fun. I still really enjoy my Brotherhood of Steel character. I use him for many of my videos. He's a big heavy weapons guy, so keeping him stocked up on uh, missiles is actually really expensive. I spend more money trying to buy missiles for that character than on any other ammunition type, so that's tricky. My sniper is a lot of fun, my very first character, my Miniman character. Um, but I've done everything with her, so I don't use her for my videos very often because she's already explored every place in the game. <clears throat> and I want to explore something for the first time with a character when doing a video on that place. Got a got a tip from Jimmy he, as he says, "Why isn't the t Institute canon? Since it's run by your son, I want a video and an answer." By the way, I'm a security guard currently on duty, and I watch your vids between rounds. Watching this during a round. Uh, well, glad to have you on the program. And the the real answer is we don't know what the canonical ending is. We can guess, and it's likely that the canonical ending is the Miniman ending because Bethesda is clearly positioning the Institute as the evil villain of the game and clearly positioning the Minutemen as basically the NCR of this world, right? The canonical ending for Fallout New Vegas is that the NCR wins and defeats Caesar's Legion. The canonical ending of Fallout 3 is that the Enclave has been completely destroyed and that the Brotherhood of Steel took over uh, Adams Air Force Base, which is where they... Uh, got the pieces for a little, a Liberty Prime, shipped them on over, they built the Bridwin there. Um, so, um, I mean, the major villain of every game tends to be the one that's completely defeated. So, the most likely explanation is that the Institute will be defeated in the canonical ending of this game. Now, as to why that would be, I think that's easily answered by my video on why the Institute is evil. I realize that, yes, your son is part of the Institute, which just makes the story of Fallout 4 even more tragic. 
It's a tragic story. It does it, 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 The happy ending is not necessarily the best ending. The happy ending, where you're, when you are reunited with your son and you get to live happily ever after. Actually, there is no ending like that. I mean, even if you choose the end, not to get too much into spoilers, but the game has been out for a long time, so I'm not too worried about spoilers at this point. But there really is no happy ending. No matter which ending you choose in the game, tragedy strikes. <laughs> even if you side with the Institute. So there's no true happy ending. But uh, uh, I, I, I tried to make my thoughts really clear on the topic in my video on why the Institute is evil, that that the Institute has very few redeeming qualities. Yes, they produce a lot of really interesting technology. That said, even the technology they do produce is inferior to pre-war technology, with the exception of recall. That's pretty cool. Um, but their weapons are not as good as pre-war technology. Anyway, not, not to get off on a tangent, but um, the way that they use that technology is more important than the technology that they create. I don't believe, with, in, like the Brotherhood of Steel does, that scary technology like synths need to be destroyed, but I do believe that it needs to be used wisely and maturely and uh, for the benefit of all mankind, not for the benefit of a select few scientists hiding underground who have become extremely xenophobic. They're the bad guys. What do you want from me? Lionel says, uh, do you watch ShoddyCast with a wonderful tip? Thank you very much. I I am familiar with ShoddyCast, but I have to admit, I am I am not a viewer. And I don't watch many other broadcasters uh, because I don't want to be influenced too much. I want, I want everything that I produce to be to come from my own voice and to come from my own editorial calendar. The problem is that if you pay too much attention to what's going on within a specific subculture or community, then all of the content tends to become an echo chamber. One person who is influential will say something or post a video on a topic, and then all of the other content creators will post a video on that topic too to chime in with their thoughts. And that's fine, that's interesting, but I don't want to be an echo chamber. I don't want to be echoing what other people are doing. I want everything I do to be new. Just so I haven't done this before. I'm interested in it at this time. And so I'm going to be doing a video on it right now. And so I don't watch what other people do. Just so that I'm not influenced, even subconsciously, by what other people have done. I don't even look at fan-made content when doing research. Uh, unless, the t unless the piece of content I'm doing is about fan-made theories. Um, when I do my research, I try to make sure that I always pull from canonical sources. Uh, either from the wikis or from the game itself. Uh, or from information that has been shared on Reddit, just so that I, I make sure that I'm using actual information from the game so that I can come up with a fan theory based on what we find in the game, not based on another fan theory, you see? That's just how I choose to go about it. All right, all of this talking and my cigar is not being smoked. Look at that. I'm barely burning it here. <laughs> Absol Silver says, I purely joined the Institute because of their aesthetic. And that is the best reason to join the Institute, in my opinion. They do have a really cool retro-futuristic aesthetic. I mean, they're completely unique, right? They develop their own culture, their own art, their own technology, completely cut off from the above ground world for 200 years. That allowed them to really develop their own unique style, which I think Bethesda captured well, very well, in, with the furniture and um, the artwork and just the way the Institute is built and the clothing that the Institute scientists wear. It's just really cool. The aesthetic is nice. Maybe that's why I'm really enjoying my Institute character so much. I hate the Institute. I'm really enjoying playing my Institute character. The aesthetic is great. <laughs> So I agree with you. All right. Oh, yeah. The comments keep coming. Wonderful tip from Fisher saying, I think the canonical ending for the Fallout universe will be the Brotherhood conquering all. It's certainly a legitimate opinion. I disagree. I think that I, I think that Bethesda went out of their way to make Maxon clearly 
evil. And I'm, I'm going to use the word evil because I, I do believe he does everything he does from the best of intentions. I think he's genuine. And I think that he truly does believe in a better commonwealth and that he is trying to help the most people. I'm sure his motives are completely fine, but he's still evil based on the actions of his faction and the prejudice, uh, prejudices that come with them, right? The end result of what he does is a commonwealth where the citizens are terrorized, not just by the synths now, but also by Brotherhood soldiers who feel like everything that settlers have belongs to the Brotherhood. The farms are only there because they belong, because they can help the Brotherhood. The food belongs to the Brotherhood if the Brotherhood needs it. Settlers are ungrateful because the Brotherhood is protecting them when the Brotherhood doesn't even respect their autonomy. And in a situation like that, you know, you've basically got another villain flying in, right? Uh, I'm all about helping people who want to be helped. I'm not, and that's this is actually something that I have a problem with the NCR over. I realize the NCR are the good guys. I'm playing through Fallout uh, New Vegas again for the second time, and I really like the NCR. But every now and then, the NCR will do and say something where I'm like, you know what, if they don't want your help, don't help them. If the town doesn't want you there, don't go there. They will quickly realize that it's better to have you there when they get invaded by the Legion and everyone gets carted off and crucified. But at the moment, you don't force yourself on the town. They don't have to join you. Them forcing a brand new currency is also like, I understand civilization building, but until the civilization is stabilized, don't force a brand new currency on a on an entire population where the currency is bottle caps. Because what happens is you end up cheating the people working for you. Like the quarry guys at Sloan. They they only pay the quarry guys at Sloan in NCR dollars, which is worth half of what the caps are in, in the Commonwealth. And so the workers feel completely cheated. They have to take the work because it's the only quarry work available, but they're working for the NCR and they feel cheated because the NCR is basically paying them half. A few things like that about the NCR bother me. I realize the NCR is the best hope for the Mojave Wasteland. I'm all on board. But a few things like that bother me. I'll be getting into a video on that later. Anyway, I should probably get to streaming. We're already 30 minutes into the program. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a smoke ship. Mr. T Turbo says, you know, Maxon destroyed Rivet City to make his toy balloon, right? Yeah, that's actually a point I brought up in my video. Why the Brotherhood of Steel is evil. <laughs> I mean, I've kind of covered all of this. It's, uh, yeah, that's, it's not said. They did, they don't use the words Rivet City. I'll grant you that. But it's highly implied that it is Rivet City because in a terminal in Maxon's room, we find a note that says that they scrapped fusion reactors from that nearby aircraft carrier. What's the only nearby aircraft carrier that they found on the way between Boston and the Capital Wastelands? It's gonna be Rivet City. So of course, of course it's Rivet City. Again, it's possible it's not, but it's very likely that it's Rivet City. And that's the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel. Maxon's Brotherhood of Steel takes from those who have because they believe that they need it more because they are, quote, better for humanity. And that's a problem. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked again. All of your comments are so great. All right. Um, I'm going to do a smoke ship today. And since we were talking about the Pred one and in, here, I've never done Rivet City. The smoke ship I'm going to do today is Rivet City. All right. Here we go. All right, pay close attention. Whoa! I hope you didn't blink, because if you did, you missed it. But for the briefest of moments before your very eyes was Rivet City in all its gleaming glory before being ravaged by the Brotherhood of Steel. Gorgeous. All right, people are talking about my my curtain, yes. I, uh... <clears throat> it's not like there's anything interesting back there. I'm just in my garage. All 
Okay, let's fire up Fallout 4. Awesome! So much detail, says Derek. <laughs> Yes, I know. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Please don't crash. All of these tweaks I'm doing to my system make me nervous. Alright, let's get the game up and running, and then once I've confirmed that it's working, we will... I'll show you the screen. Ooh, yeah, this is burning ratty. See that? It's those rips in the wrapper. Uh, now that the flame is starting to come down, it's really tearing them up. Okay. Here we go. Let's turn up some music here. Now. Before we go further, I did a big video on the covert, I'm sorry, on Ballistic Weave, and I never bothered to weave my, my own clothing. So let's actually try something here. Let's, the covert sweater vest doesn't have Ballistic Weave? Oh, that's because it's not an armored sweater vest. Now, I don't have the Ballistic Weave I need, but I know that you can buy armored clothing hey the boys have been working on some new toys Wanna take from a this guy I'll let's see if we can buy some from him what, then actually does he have any ballistic fiber nope value 84 okay Let's see if we can take that Ballistic Weave modification off and place it on what we're wearing today. No, we can't! Ah! That is really annoying. All right, well, I guess I'll just have to look out for some Ballistic Fiber. Yep, just had to ban somebody. There we go. Alright, uh, this is my little home. I'm gonna put clothing away here. Excess weapons. Let's see, where am I storing them? I'm storing them here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Store my excess grenades cause, and mines, because that's a whole lot. Well, I'll, t I'll keep the fragmentation grenades. Alright, uh... I think I want to leave Deacon here. He's really annoying and he breaks my stealth. I'm gonna leave him here. Hey. Yeah? Hey there. You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Whoa, what's this? Wait. You read it, didn't you? I actually haven't read it yet. I completely forgot. No, I haven't read it yet. Good. Please don't. It'll make it easier to sleep at night. Okay. Hey. Tell me what you... You know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole... I think we ought to part ways. Another time, then. Uh... 
Yeah, go back to the railroad HQ. Great. Now, let's see if we can go to Pikmin's Gallery. I want to see a Syringer build. That would be interesting and also a nightmare. Can you imagine playing a Syringer build? Where before you fight any enemy, you got to get some sort of poison dart in them first? Whew. Yeah, the one problem is that after I've made all of these visual improvement settings, now loading takes forever. John says, will you do more Outlast in Bioshock? videos. Yeah, I need to do the uh, Wall Rider DLC, if that's what it's called, and finish Bioshock. I haven't finished the original Bioshock that's yet. This Pikmin Psycho? Slippery bastard got away before, but Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy alive after he snatched him. Let the rats get at him. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. No joke. The faster we clip this asshole, the better. It always feels like something's watching me again. I'm starting to really. Oh, forgot about him. Of course, it's a legend. Man. God for nerd rage. Holy cow, I can't blame Deacon. That was all me. Hold on, gotta wait. Don't have Sito's hammer yet? No, not yet. And quick. You can right, I'm not going to waste time looting every little thing. I want to. Uh, I'll come back and loot after the broadcast. I really want to get Pikmin's Blade. Sweet. Here's the gallery. Only a fucking coward hides. Message to Jack. Whoops. Scouts who went missing up near the old art gallery. They're, they're dead, Seth. I, I'm looking at a, a goddamn painting of Cal's body. Oh, God. What the hell did I do to him? <laughs> Pikmin is so creepy. 
I love his little humming. Who the hell is there? Admiring my collection. I'm afraid it's not complete yet. Soon, though. Stay away from me, you psycho! Yes. Just like that. Hold that expression on your face. Nice. Let's clear the upstairs first. I don't remember killing the attack dog. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, and I'm done. Oh, I'm done. All right. Note to self. Quick save. Quick save. Here we go. We're going to quick save. You think we're going to catch this Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy a lot. Time to use some chems. Oh, I thought there was someone here. What? Man, I'm having a hard time. Why is it so tough? Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away no. before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted oh. through. You gonna fucking pay for that? Spread out, find him. Maybe I'm not ready. Maybe uh Maybe there's a reason I haven't come here until now. and quick you can trust me the problem with these stealth builds is that they take so long Maybe I need Deacon's help. You think we're gonna catch this Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. <laughs> this is tricky, this is tricky. Catch this Pikmin psycho? The slip. Furry bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. <laughs> 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 
There, that helps. Automatic weapons. I need some ballistic weave. My armor is horrible. All right, fast save. The rest are all upstairs, probably. Disappearing act. Up. All right, let's go downstairs. What difficulty am I on? I'm on. The one directly below uh, survival, so very hard or hard difficulty. I'm so used to playing my power armor characters. <laughs> I gotta acclimate. You can eat when I'm damn sure we're not about to get Forever, you sick bastard. Pikmin, you can't hide forever. You sick bastard. <laughs> 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 Concentration, ladies and gentlemen, just pure concentration. What the? Nothing there now. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Jump in a shaft. Uh, the paintings are pretty good, actually. I wouldn't hang them in my house, but they are interesting. Yeah, he saw me. Yeah, he saw me. Shit. All right. Awesome. If I hold caps lock, I can walk really slow. From stealth, I can one-shot these guys if I get them in the head. I don't understand it. I'm wearing chameleon armor. And he can see me in the dark from that range. I mean, look, I'm in the dark. I'm invisible. And he can see me from all over there. Ah. The 
little bitch go? All right, let's try this again. Only a fucking coward hides. What the hell was that? It's like I'm in a... Shooting fish in a barrel is what they're doing to me. I'm just sitting down here. <clears throat> Minding my own business? They're tearing me up the yin-yang. But at least they're dead. Playing games with me, huh? Whoop. It's a quick save. Never know when I'm gonna die on this character. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. All right, we're making progress. Making progress. I don't know how I'm going to do that final fight. Now that I think about it, with like three of those guys there and Pikmin, I have no idea how I'm going to do that final fight. Move more slowly, Oxhorn? Yeah, that would probably help. That's really slow. Oh. That's right, I'm not gonna loot it. That just wastes its time. I'll come back and loot it when I'm not filming. You can't hide forever, Pikmin. You hear me? You're a dead man! You can't hide forever, Pikmin. You hear me? You're a dead man! Calm down, buddy. Too fucking... You can't hide forever, Pikmin. You hear me? You're a dead man! Shotgun, shotty, shotty, shotgun. Okay, we're gonna take. Ah, <laughs> uh, sting wing fillet. That sounds nice. Hold on. Sting packs. Psycho, sure. sure, sure, sure. Grab ourselves a med axe and a chat. Let's refresh our AP there with a quantum. Yeah. Yeah. We just hack away. Chip, chip, chip away. It's like anything in life, just chip away at it. Oh yeah, I get a critical in there. Hack off a limb or two. Try to avoid the missile turret. And I'm stuck. Come on, I don't want to sit here. Uh. Ooh. All right, used a lot of chems. We're okay, we're still alive. I'm gonna F5 this. No, I don't want to overwrite the last one just in case. <laughs> All right, got it. All right, now I can F5 this. Okay. Those shotguns, man. Gotta find me some ballistic fiber. If I had ballistic fiber, I wouldn't have to worry about this. My arm is horrible. Look at that. Hundred and twenty-four. Man. I can't believe I did the entire game on my very first character without 
Power Armor. That's why my next two characters were in Power Armor, because it was new to me. It was new and unique, and man, I should do a playthrough in Power Armor. But with this character, or my first character, I didn't use any Power Armor, but I don't recall it being this difficult. All right, we're coming up to the end here. Gosh, I hope. That's going to be tricky. How is he disappearing so much? I'm using chameleon armor. Check it out. Uh, chameleon metal leg. Enemies have a harder time detecting you while you're sneaking and not moving. Makes me invisible. All right, I don't want to disrupt the conversation that will be happening out here. Finally got you, Pikmin. Thought you could hunt and torture our people to your heart's content? I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Man, victory. Oh, can't sing. Ah. And I'm still I'm still not detected. Wow, I'm surprised. But I don't want Pikmin to die. Is that it? Where's the other one? Did Pikmin get rid of that guy? Yeah, Pikmin killed him. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> I was freaking out over nothing. Hey there, Pikmin. What's up, buddy? Hi. <sighs> that was close. Thank you. Those people deserved worse than death. Why did they want you so badly? <laughs> a small disagreement. They objected to my hobby of collecting their heads. Let me repay you. You don't owe me anything. I would have done it either way. That's all the more reason to reward you. If you visit my house <laughs> again, look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find... Picnic for gratitude. Stanley. That's a you great name this. for a horrible, disgusting painting. Ooh, he backs away. Whoa. Calm down there, buddy. <laughs> he did a... He was about to do a pull of Michael Jackson moonwalk there. All right, let's get the magazine. Perfect. Astoundingly awesome tales. Awesome. Fusion core. Don't need it. Sweet. All right, let's go get that blade. The entire reason I came here. Bye, Pikmin. Good to have you on my side. Or am I on his side? Yeah, I increased the quality of shadows rendered in the game. My GPU handles it really well, but now my load times are... Look at this. I have, I have an SSD. And even with an SSD, my uh, load times are ra uh, crazy ridiculous. All right, uh, where am I? I want to go back. How do I get back to Pikmin's? Oh, I'm going to quick save just in case. Oh, I forgot the bobblehead. Oh, all right. Is that how this works? That's right. There is a bobblehead, isn't there? All right, I'll go back for the bobblehead. Don't worry, don't worry. But I'm really here for the knife. Pikmin's thank you note. Thanks, killer. Incidentally, this is one of the uh, top requested images for my shirts. 
So I'm gonna have to make a. I'm gonna have to make a, a shirt about that. All right, let's get it. So my damage goes down, but the speed goes way up, and I get bleeding damage. That's gonna come in really nice. <laughs> let's go test it out on a few people, which is why I left the top floor alone. I believe there should be a few more raiders up here. Love a speedy little dagger like this. All oh, the rest are upstairs. When you turn up, you're dead. Maybe, maybe. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Oh no, that guy's really armored well. Yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting about my sneak criticals. Those get added on to what I see in vats, which is why I do a lot more damage than I originally think. All right. All right. All right. I know many of you are spazzing out about the uh, bobblehead that I forgot, but never fear. I'm going to go get it. Don't worry. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, this guy must be a, a vault fan. Either that or he really likes bubblegum. Ah! Yes! I made it this time. Whoa. Getting a little bit of input lag. Like I'm, I'm pressing the jump button now. You see that little bit of li of input lag? I'm hoping to fix that when I get a G-Sync monitor. When I switched from AMD, I lost free sync, and so I, sadly I have to use vertical sync. I click, and then I stab. Yeah, it's just it's not quite as responsive as I would I would like. All right, all right, all right. Let's go get this bobblehead. Whoa! All right. So, where's this bobblehead, huh? It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, there it is. Yes. Lock picking. Hooray! Turn on your light? Well, I mean, if it gets too dark to broadcast, yeah, I will turn on my light. But I actually really enjoy a dark game. Uh, I enjoy seeing, uh, seeing the contrast in a dark game.
Ox the donation. Did I get a donation? I'm going to scroll up. Scrolling all the way up. All right, and, and I've reached the top. If I got a donation and I missed it, um, my apologies. Sorry about that. But thank you very much. Whoa, what is with this load time? Caleb says, why do you use the girl character for a lot of your characters? Well, this was actually user choice. I did a, uh, a poll when I was creating this character. This character has been leveled and streamed online, This uh, entirely made online. And I did a poll with this character and I said, do you want a male or female? And everyone said female, so. Right, uh, something's wrong. There we go. Wow. What was with that? That was obnoxious. All right, let's go back to the railroad headquarters. Ox, have you seen the face in the lunchbox? Yeah. I have indeed. Uh, I believe there are two faces, or at least two designs, scratched into the lunchboxes. One looks like a vault boy. Doesn't it look like a vault boy to you? A uh, vault boy to you? There we go. All right, I'm so happy I got my Pikmin's Blade. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you for coming to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings. I couldn't do my re my audio recording for tomorrow's video t uh, during the day. Uh, due to all the thunder and lightning, you guys heard the tail end of it. So I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast and get to work on my brand new video. Stay tuned uh, to, uh, for tomorrow morning for my video. It's going to be on some of the more fun and maybe silly mods that you find in uh, uh, for Fallout 4. These are some of the new silly mods that you can find in Fallout 4. They're not going to be lore friendly. Not a whole lot on immersion. You got 50 bucks, says T-Bone. Thanks. I didn't even notice that. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry to the uh, to the person who donated $50. Thank you. I was so preoccupied with my stealthy assassin character that I didn't notice the donation. Uh, so I didn't mean to overlook it. But thank you very much for the wonderful donation. It'll go towards a G-Sync monitor. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Be sure to tune in tomorrow uh, for my video. And and remember, uh, same time next week, same Ox channel, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time for episode 406 of Scotch and Smoke Rings. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, be sure that each and every one of you stays classy.